Uh, my name is Rok Brajković and I'm a student of uh, geology on the University of Ljubljana. Uh, me and Bustian uh, were cooperating on, in the project of opening this museum. Uh, we covered the geological part of it. Uh, so if we start the geological uh, presentation. If we look uh, Slovenia more, more closely, we can divide uh, it uh, in three segments. Kind of the the, the, the the numerical part, Slovenian basin part, and the, the Julian part. Uh, Chernomel is situated in the Dinarit part, uh, and these were shallow waters where the uh, Mesozoic uh, carbonates formed. Uh, in the Upper Triassic, Slovenia was the uniform uh, carbonate platform called the Slovenian platform. And in the uh, upper Triassic, it fell apart on three segments. It, uh, the first segment was the dinarite carbonate platform, and then the second uh, part was the Slovenian basin, uh, which was the deepened part of the Slovenia, and the clastic uh, rocks uh, were sedimented there. And the third part was the Julian carbonate platform. Uh, where uh, also carbonate uh, rocks formed, but they are different than from the dinarite uh, ones. On this picture, we see the tectonical plates uh, in the uh, upper Jurassic stages, uh, the African tectonical plate, the micro tectonical plate of Ad uh, Adriatical Apulian, where the Slovenia lies. Uh, we see it's more shallow, uh, so carbonate could form, and the upper part is the uh, European uh, uh, plate. Uh, this tectonic, uh, the tectonic features during this time was uh, extensional tectonic, uh, and this place uh, went apart. Uh, so uh, new oceans were formed. Uh, one of the oceans was the Alpine Tethys, which is very important because uh, during the Upper Cretaceous time, uh, the European plate subducted under the Adriatic Apulian plate, uh, which thrusted over the European plate and formed the Al Alpine uh, mountains. This is the geological map of Bela Kraina. Uh, we can see it on, we, on, on it. We can see the the geological uh, features. Uh, the lines are the faults, and uh, with different colors, uh, different uh, rocks, uh, different ages are are marked. The oldest uh, rocks rocks which are on surface are the Upper Triassic of Dolomites. The blue are the Jurassical uh, limestones and dolomites and the green parts are different uh, limestones uh, that formed during the Cretaceous uh, time. Uh, this yellow part here is the Kanizharica Basin uh, which is filled with lake sediments and uh, uh, thick uh, coal layers. Uh, this is where the, the mining uh, were, was and uh, the youngest rocks uh, in Bela Kraina are, are this here and uh, that part uh, and it's due to alluvial uh, working uh, of the Kopa river which uh, sedimented the the sediment uh, during the high waters, during the floods. Uh, the two important lines of, uh, that form the Bela Kraina is the uh, Deneridical Tectonical Line and the Balaton Line. These are the normal faults which lowered the surface and formed the Bela Kraina Basin uh, as we see it now. The oldest rocks that appear on the surface are the upper Triassical uh, Dolomites. Inside we can see stromatolites that uh, are formed in the uh, tidal flats. Uh, 
uh, in very shallow sea. Uh, later in the Jurassic, uh, the uh, environment of the sea was more lagoonal, uh, so these black limestones formed. We can inside we can see the sponges. Uh, and uh, the black color gives us the information uh, that very high uh, bioproduction was that time in the sea. In the upper uh, Jurassic, uh, in Slovenia and also in Bela Krajina, we had a very big color, coral reef. You can imagine like uh, we have in Australia now the great color, coral reef. Uh, in this stone you can see corals here and on the surface uh, like they are visible like that. Uh, in the upper Cretaceous sea was uh, also shallow but uh, more clear limestones were sediment sedimented and at the, at the final stages of Cretaceous uh, because of the rising of the uh, mountains of the Alps and uh, the subduction, uh, flesh sequence was formed. The flesh uh, sequence uh, is seen like that. These are calcarinites, then we have uh, marls and sand sandstones. Uh, this is formed uh, with uh, landslides. If we imagine, we have this this slope and uh, it sediment, uh, the rocks are sedimented here but they are not uh, lithified and during that stage if the angle is uh, too high the landslide forms and uh, uh, the grains are uh, different size uh, on their size and so that's why we get the, the different stones. This is the most granular uh, and if we go up uh, there are smaller granules of, of uh, rocks.